Hi, I'm Ranjan Bhattacharya, your event host for the Baker Street Property Meet. And today I'm with Tom Madden from Lend Invest. Hi. Hello. And Tom uh, and Lend Invest are one of our sponsors here at Baker Street. Uh, Lend Invest are a very innovative um, lender for uh, property developers. Why are you innovative? Okay, so uh, <coughs> I guess the, the, the main reason that people know us as being innovative is that we have a peer-to-peer -peer or crowdfunding platform behind us. So that's mm. one of the ways that we finance property development and uh, we provide bridging finance, development finance and a few other innovative, innovative products. And uh, yeah, as you say, in terms of our goals as a company, it's to be one of the leading businesses for online mortgages in the UK. So the mortgage industry has traditionally been offline. Uh, we're trying to change that. Are you going to move into mortgages as well? Then? Well, in terms of uh, in terms of property finance, mm -hmm. I think the the aim of the company would always be to uh, to increase our, our product range. We previously did have a, a buy to let product. We're looking to introduce another one in 2017. So, uh, yeah, as you say, we see ourselves as being a, a mortgage lender uh, and a mortgage lender of the future, and one that's going to really challenge the market and uh, bring it up to the 21st century. What I find interesting about um, your crowdfunding model is that. Um, one disadvantage with a lot of crowdfunding models is that you have to wait until a, a, a developer finds a project. Um, they have to then list it on some crowdfunding platform. It has to get fully funded mm. before you can buy it. Totally, yeah. yeah you don't work like that. No, it's, it's one way that we differentiate ourselves from uh, some of the other crowdfunding platforms, let's call them. Uh, so we, I always describe it as reverse crowdfunding. In that, uh, in that we actually pre-fund all of our developments ourselves, which gives a certainty of funds to the developers and the investor, and uh, yeah, and then we and then we can offer the opportunity uh, from our funding perspective to move uh, to move projects onto our platform and then to sell shares in the interest receivables to our crowd. Mm -hmm. So, as you say, that, it's that certainty of funding really that other platforms can't offer or don't offer uh, as a norm. So you're very well capitalised. You fund the developer and then you choose to exit some of your financing of the developer by offering Correct, um, yeah. participation on the platform. Correct. So about a third of our uh, projects go through onto our platform and are, and are financed by our crowd, uh, buying, as I say, interest receivables in, in the loans. Uh, so we remain, as the, uh, we, we remain as the lender in all cases, so it's not actually a peer-to-peer -peer model in all essence. Uh, but yeah, as you say, we're strong. Uh, we have a very strong capital base. We have uh, institutional facilities. So we're, uh, we've got a very diverse funding model, which means that, um, yeah, as I say, that certainty of funds can be given in all cases. Which is absolutely essential for a developer Very looking so, to make yeah. a bid on a property. Mm. Now, many people watching this will be uh, looking to fund a development type of project. You guys have got bags of cash, but you're not going to dish it out willy-nilly. What ex exactly are you going to look for in a developer's proposal um, before dishing out your, your, your cash? Yeah, well, it's, well, it's obviously um, one of the biggest things that we try to due diligence as much as we can up front so that we understand <coughs> the project, that we understand the developer behind it. Um, you know, in, in all essence, whether you class it as a development or, or not, um, you know, we'll be doing that on a simple bridging loan where it's a refurbishment. We'll be looking at the, the project, we'll be looking at the liquidity of the property, at the type of works that are being done mm -hmm. and whether we're confident that the borrower can uh, for, to carry out those works. And it's just more of a detailed process and more of a requirement if it's a, a more complex project. So if it's a new build or a major development, then clearly we're looking even more so at the experience and, uh, and, and you know, we're keen to see that it's going to be a successful project. So um, what do you look for in terms of um, the exit plan from the developer? How, how important is that? Yeah, so again, that's you know, certainly one of the most important things in short-term financing uh, and, and you know, obviously the two key or two main exit strategies would be sale or refinance. So okay. if it's sale, we're looking into the liquidity of the market, the type of units, you know, the, what spec there uh, is being offered. Uh, and if it's refinancing, we're really basically asking the borrower to work backwards and to understand how they're going to exit from a refinance, refinance and understanding that that has a big impact on what we can offer them. Uh, so it's partly put back into the hands of the, the developer or the investor to ask them you know, to explain what their exit is and to have, give us with confidence. But we also have access to the market and access to sourcing systems to understand ourselves as to what the viability mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. that that developer can exit in that chosen route. But uh, yeah, as you say, exit and, and experience are two of the, the key criteria. And Tom, if you're doing a development, um, it's going to take a, a certain period of time. So let's say it takes nine months mm -hmm. or a year. Um, 
if, you, if you're exiting the deal in nine months, um, there are all sorts of changes going on. We've got Brexit, we've got all sorts of uncertainty and all of that. Um, what's, what's, what's your view on the, on, on the risks associated with any exit plan um, that the developer may have? Because they can't exactly factor um, the current market as going forward exactly Mm. Um, in nine, twelve months' well, that's time. E that, that's exactly the position that the market's been in for the last six months, really, following primarily Brexit, but also other changes in the market. That it, um, you know, that it is a, uh, you know, is a subjective matter as to where the market is is heading. And um, we've seen you know, some lenders be more cautious in their loan to values. We've seen some lenders uh, you know, pull out of the, the short term funding market altogether, and, and you know everything in between. Uh, I'm glad to say that, as we mentioned earlier, that lend investors. You know, particularly strongly uh, capitalised and, and well funded. So you know, we've not had that issue. And um, yeah, as you say, it's about building it into your due diligence of the project and you know, recognising that, that there uh, you know, needs to be equity put in okay. to, uh, you know, to a sufficient degree by the developer. Would you say it's important that a developer, um, more than ever, not just has an exit plan, but preferably has an exit plan A, an exit plan B, an exit plan C, totally. all of which <coughs> are viable? Totally, yeah, and as you say, the, the more confidence we can get that there are viable options for exit, the, the, the better, really. Uh, and, and as you say, I would, I would totally expect if a developer was putting something in front of me that they would be you know, offering certainly option A and option B, and all the better if you've got an option C as well, yeah. And we've just heard today, of course, uh, Bank of England announced that a lot of the high street banks have failed um, various stress tests, mm. and we don't know what ramifications that's going to have for their ap ap appetite for lending. Um, uh, as the months go on. Um, so uh, alternative providers are really going to come into the uh, fore. You must be um, licking yeah, your lips. Well, very much so. <laughs> it's, been, um, you know, it's been a changing, a changing sort of uh, environment over the last few years and uh, there's been a, a large number of new entrants into the market, whether that's on the sort of for us bridging side and the development side, but also in the mainstream, more mainstream buy-to-let market. Um, and we expect to see that continue, that there will be lots of new entrants, lots of new products, hopefully some you know, innovative uh, lenders like ourselves. And you know, I'm hopeful that, you know, as you say, that, that, we, that our specialist lenders can awesome. actually thrive in, in that environment and help take up some of the slack that will be left behind by the banks, as happened you know, back in 2008. Definitely. OK, thank you very much, Tom. Tom's going to be on our panel uh, tonight. Um, you can find plenty more videos with experts uh, on this YouTube channel, but the best way to see what Baker Street Property Meet is all about is to come and sample us for yourself. We meet uh, on the last Wednesday of every month. Uh, we have 200 property investors in the room, plenty of experts. Uh, you can find out about Lend Invest on their website, lendinvest.com. And Lend Invest and Tom are here pretty much most months at the Baker Street, so you can talk through your uh, deal proposition directly with them right here as well. Um, thanks very much, Tom. Thank you. And uh, see you guys soon.